Nico, it's Roman. Let's go see a show. All right, man. We go see something. I should be with you in no more than one hour. We have a date. I am waiting for you. their cultural diversity. Eric House, Weasel News. We've had the phone that vibrates. Now it's time for the vibrator that's a phone. Fruit's new iRocket is the cell phone for women that pushes all the right buttons. iRocket blends cutting-edge frictionless technology with Fruit's signature simplicity clean design. Although it won't stay clean for long, this rocket is wiped down clean. A discreet sexual aid, the iRocket comes with an extra powerful battery so it won't switch off before you get off. The iRocket is scheduled to hit stores for Christmas. This is Weasel News. This is Weasel News. My one and only cousin, except for the other ones. Let's go. Man, I love this country. It's fucking amazing. I want some of what you're pretty strong because I can't see what you're so happy about. Life is shit. I'm high on life, man. American life. It's the best. For everything here. Yeah, but most people don't know where it is, so they stay at the bottom of the food chain. They stay there until they're burnt out or dead. That's because most people are too foolish to look for the shortcuts. They stay on the highway like every other chump. I'm an innovator, Nico. I drive off the highway. Off road, baby! Every move I make is a gamble. I'm going to get knocked back a few times, sure. One day, I'll find that shortcut to the top. If you're lucky, I might take you there with me. Tell me, Roman, why weren't you such an optimist back home? In the old country, the only thing you could count on was a bomb landing on your bedroom roof in the night. Here, anything is possible. It's the land of opportunity. They must put something into the water, man, because all I'm feeling is your optimism. I'm going to start drinking from the tap, then. is, I'm a bit overweight myself. Oh, shit. <laughs> Someone shouted, no shit. Could be that. <laughs> 40 years build up. I actually had to have a medical for this tour, and I've had medicals before for TV work, and I just check your pulse and go, you're fine. But I went along to the doctor, and he said, uh, oh, it's a bit more thorough than usual. You know, it's a big tour. We need a urine sample. I've never had to do that before, so... Uh, you know, I went to the toilet, filled up this little bottle he gave me, good as gold, gave it back to him. He went, oh, can you strip down to your box of shorts? I thought, this is thorough. So I stripped down to my box of shorts. Oh, for f... The one day I wear white box of shorts. Big wet patch from the wee. <laughs> well, why didn't he warn me? Why didn't he say, be careful, I'll be checking for stains in a minute? Do you know what I... So embarrassing, there's nothing I could do. Uh... I told my friend, and my friend went, you should have gone commando. Well, that would have been less embarrassing, wouldn't it? 
So now I strip down to a box of shorts and I go, oh God, I've wet myself, what can I do? I know. <laughs> go commando. Do commandos not wear pants? <laughs> Why is it called go commando? They must wear pants. Are there any commandos in, do you whip? <laughs> Wait. Why are you not wearing pants? <laughs> what do you mean, because we're commandos? They're going to see that, at least camouflage it. Put a little... Well, now it's getting bigger. Why is it getting big? <sighs> Look, there's barbed wire up. You're going to lose it. Pop it away. Go, commando. But I am a bit overweight. I never worried about that before I was famous. And I'm not more vain now. It's that you read about yourself. And the papers... They need an adjective. They can't just say Ricky Gervais comedian. They say things like, Ricky Gervais, tubby comedian. Why bring that into it? Ricky Gervais, rotund comedian. Rotund? That sounds like a giant fucking wombat. I'm not rotund. One called me a chubby funster. That's a gay porn name. I was jogging once, listening to some sounds on my MP3 player. Oh, yeah, looking good. Paparazzi got me. Full page in the paper the next day, with a headline, I podge. <laughs> Cheeky bastards. Thanks very much. Good night.
me about him. to turn up when you've met someone online. Yeah, all sorts of sickos can use the internet. You have to be careful. I'm Nico. So, Nico, what do you do? I do a lot of things. What's your job? 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 Everyone's talking about this job guy. I haven't met him and I don't want to. Mr. Job sounds like an asshole. Really? What type of man do you want to meet? One with a lot of money. Do you know Gay Tony? Runs Hercules and Mason at nine? I'll tell you a secret. He pretends to have the dollars, but he is broke as hell. The loser. If there is one thing that I hate more than fat people and cripples, it is poor guys. Is that why you borrow money that you can't pay back? What are you talking about? How the fuck do you know who I pay and don't pay back? Fuck you, bitch. You ain't Miss Thang. You can't tell me shit about who I am. I'm just here to do a job. People in this world need to work. And my work is getting rid of you. I would seeing each other again. I don't think he'll be seeing anyone. Nicky, you're an animal. Anyway, your profile's still up there, bro. There's all sorts of crazy pictures on that site you can get into. Real freak, you know? I'd be getting involved with some of that internet dating shit, but uh, I always date models, you know? Or VIPs, or could be models. Not many of them online, yeah? Catch you later, 